So the reason why body mapping is so important is because your body doesn't have an even distribution of weight. You've got high pressure areas, low pressure areas, and some parts of your body that barely touch the pad at all, which then in, in effect changes how your pad is going to benefit you. Let me give you a little demonstration here. This is a more traditional camping pad, and it has the same effect whether it's foam filled or just air filled. But the idea is that when you put pressure on a certain part of a camping pad, that air is going to go to the path of least resistance. So if we say this is your hips right here, and you push down on that, as you can see, that air is going to go to the other parts and inflate other parts of the pad where you do not need that insulation as much. But when, or if you do it with two knees, for example, let's say you've got shoulders and hips, you can see here the pressure is going out to the ends of the pad where there is not needed as much comfort and support. So it really is counterproductive to what you need. You need more pressure, comfort, and support and warmth in those strike areas, in those weight bearing parts of your body. So that's why the inertia X frame has been designed doing just that giving you support where you need it and removing it where you don't. So when you put pressure here, it's only going to go to another part where you need support, where you've got your legs, your shoulders, your head. So if you notice, when I push down on pressure here, it does not inflate, it does not change the inflation of their areas as much. The reason why is because of two things. One is because it's limited where the air can go, and secondly, it's also because it's under pressure. If you notice also here, if I put pressure in two areas, if I put pressure on the hips, and the shoulders region, it does not change does not change the inflation of the other areas because of the body mapping is limited where that air can go. That's why it's such a valuable asset to have that. Also, because we use pressure, we only need a pad that's an inch and a half thick, whereas other air inflated pads traditionally need at least two and a half to three inches to keep you off the ground, keep you comfortable, keep you warm, because as you lay down and those pressure parts of your, bear, your body, the weight-bearing loading areas, are going to compress. You're going to have less insulation, less comfort, and less warmth. Whereas with our pad, because it's under pressure, you don't need as much thickness, so it's lighter, more compact, and even more comfortable as well, too, where you can adjust the pressure.